This hack tip is brought to you by Hack5 and viewers like you. Support us directly at hackshop.com. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morris, and today we are checking out the Zen Maps output. Now, last week I showed you how to create your own profile in Zen Map and how to do some scans, but we haven't really covered what all the bells and whistles are inside of Zen Map. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now, after you're running your own scan, you'll see your target's IP address under the hosts. You can click on services as well and click on any known open port for a service. Now, all this information is over on the left side. So if I click on hosts, I see that I just scanned 0.74. And also, if I change this to 0 slash 24, and we all know that that will run a, a scan on the entire network, I'll see every single target IP address listed under hosts. And if I click on services, I can see exactly what services are open and available for me to scan on that known target. It'll bring you over to the ports and host window. So this ports and host window, that's pretty cool too. This is gonna show you the target address, the port, the protocol, and the state that it is in. So if it's open or if it is closed, if you ended up getting any kind of output about any closed ones. Now, if you go back to the host window, so I can click over here and choose hosts. When I double click on that, I get every single listing of a port available. Now, take a look at this one. This is pretty cool. This is called topology. But to do that, we're gonna scan the entire network. So let's give that a second to go ahead and scan the entire network. Okay, so now that my scan is done, I just did a regular scan of all the uh, services that are on my network, I can go over to topology. So down here, you're going to see a nice little mapping of everything that is on your network. It's a graphic map of pretty much your entire network. I'm gonna click on fisheye because I prefer that view. And I'm gonna come down to controls. I'm gonna zoom in a bit so you can see what's going on on here. There we go. Okay, so. Clicking on controls is going to give you more options to look at everything that shows up on, this, on the scan. So this is the controls, everything on this side that you can see down here. I have different actions that I can take. I can show some more information, group children, whatever that means. I can even fill regions. Interpolation lets me change frames. Layout lets me choose whether it's weighted or symmetric. So a couple of different views. And then view down at the bottom lets me turn on or off the address. I can change the navigation so I can move up and down, change those views. I can zoom in a little bit more so I can do that. And then I can change the ring gap, which will give me a little bit more spacing. Uh, same thing with lowering the ring gap. Also, if I move this up just a little bit, you can see down here at the bottom. There we go. Uh, the thing down at the bottom, the fisheye on ring, if I, I think I can change this. Let's see if I can change this. Doop, enter. Okay, it won't let me change that one, but I can change this one over here, interest factor. So all of these basically just give you different views. And then I could click on one of the items of interest. So let's say I wanna look at 144 a little bit more. So I can change that to make it the center of interest. And then I can right click and look at more information about that specific uh, target that I had on here. And if I wanted to, I could also close out of this and I can save my graphic as a PDF as well. So I can go back to it at a later time and I would be able to do some more research about this. It's pretty cool. I really like the topology graph and I think it's pretty interesting that you can see everything mapped out like that. Now after the break, we'll quickly go over the rest of your Zen mapping options so that you can be a Zen map overlord. Stay tuned. The Hack Shop is Hack 5's premier store for all your pen testing needs, including one of my favorites, the USB Rubber Ducky, which looks like a flash drive and it types like a keyboard. It can quickly type scripts into a computer crazy fast, like this week's favorite from TB Stunts, I believe that's how you say his name. This simple script will run a scheduled task on login, so his example was an HTML script. Now, of course, we couldn't do this show without your support, so we would like to thank you with something special. Use the coupon code SNUBS with any order for your your very own signed hack tip stickers. Thank you so, so much for supporting the show. 
we're back with more ZenMap. And next up, after the topology, is the host details. So this is the next tab in all of our different output options. I can click on host details, and let's choose a host. I can go over to my host column over here and pick out any specific host. So this is going to give me a user-friendly view of more information about a specific host. You can also look at previous scans in the scans tab. So if I click on scans and say I had a whole bunch of different scans that I've done since I've had ZenMap open, I can scroll through all of those different ones and see every single one that I've actually done. So pretty cool, very easy to use. Now back up at the top, there's just a couple of other options that I wanted to share with you. First off, if you click Tools, uh, one of the options up at the top, and then click Compare Results, you can do that. And then you can choose a couple of different scans. So say I wanted to do a regular scan of the entire network, and then I wanted to do an Nmap scan of 7331.74, and just 74. When you hit Enter, you'll end up with a couple of different scan outputs for each one, and down at the bottom, you'll get a comparison of the two different scans that you've done. So one will end up being green, and one will end up being red. And you can also search your scan results for target words too, or you can filter the hosts. Now lastly, you can also save your scans from the scan menu. So I'll close out of here. And that's over at the top. This is just like pretty much every other program on the internet's everywhere. So you can do a new window, open up a scan that you've saved previously, or you can save a scan that you've already done so you can go back and research it some more if you have a lot of work to do with different Nmap uh, pro pro problems or something that you run into on your network. So all of this is very simple. I really like ZenMap. It makes life very easy. And since we already understand all the different commands and all the different options, it makes it a lot easier to just write out commands really quick, press enter, and then just let it scan. Now, of course, if there's anything that you want me to check out regarding Nmap before we end our series, let me know. Send me a comment below or email us tips at hack5.org. And be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your technolust.